You're listening to the Craig Proctor Real Estate Show. Each week, I'm going to be interviewing top realtors from coast to coast to give you a backstage pass on how they've created their amazing real estate empires and how you can copy them. Hi, everyone. This is real estate coach Craig Proctor. Hey, I'm really excited today uh, to uh, be interviewing Nathan Clark, uh, one of the top agents, if not the top agent in the Northeast. Uh, Nathan, how are you doing today? Hey, good morning. Doing excellent. Thanks for having me on. And Nathan, uh, let's get right into, uh, you know what, we're going to do this interview backwards. Normally, I'm like, okay, how did you start with me? And how'd you get into real estate? And you know, we talk about your struggles and trials and tribulations. We will back up the bus and go there, but let's start with what your business looks like right away, just so everyone watching this, like, okay, I, I need to listen to this guy because he has it going on. Uh, right now, we are on uh, a smaller team. We don't have a huge team like a lot of people. We got about 14 sales agents uh, on the team. Uh, last year, we did about 620 transactions, a little over $200 million in volume. Uh, we're in Rhode Island. Uh, we've been uh, number one in Rhode Island for a uh, number of sales uh, since about 2008. Uh, so we've been uh, doing quite a, a good job out there. Uh, but we do it with a, a smaller number uh, of agents. And I think that's kind of one of the most important things that we say out there is, you know, we're not trying to build the Navy. We're trying to build the Navy SEALs here. So uh, our agents all sell a lot of houses and make a lot of money. Okay. Big point of distinction. You know, you see these teams out there and they have like uh, 50 agents, 100 agents on their team. And uh, every agent sells four or six, eight houses a year. No, no, we're not talking about that. Um, over 600 homes with 14 sales agents. Uh, and uh, I know what that's like because I did that as well. I had uh, top, top agents. I had, um, I think, like eight to 10 of them at any time. And we were doing five to 600 transactions. Many of you know my story. I was number one in the world for Remax uh, uh, within 36 months of having my license. Uh, and I was able to um, recruit. I'm not going to say top agents because they weren't top agents. I made them top agents. And uh, that's what you do is, as well. You're looking for talented agents that have the right stuff. And you plug them into a system that takes uh, an ambitious realtor, despite, you know, they might not be doing right, you know, hundreds of uh, or dozens of houses right now, but you show them how to uh, plug into your system, make way more money and have more time. Explain how that works. Because I said before we got started, if uh, you don't uh, understand how this works or, you know, it sounds so good, it's almost like unbelievable. You want to listen to this, especially if you're a, a real estate agent in Rhode Island, um, you would net more money um, working, partnering up with Nathan than whatever you're doing now, and you'd actually work less. Let's say that I'm a, uh, I, I'm a realtor that is in your marketplace. Why would I want to come and join forces with you? Well, the biggest problem that most agents have and every business has out there, Craig, is, is finding the business. And we really have the opposite problem is we have an overflow abundance of people that contact us every single month. You know, we have over a thousand buyers and sellers uh, that contact the office every single month looking to buy and sell real estate. What we do, which is really unique, is we give appointments to our agents. So if someone calls in looking to sell their house, you know, we have a system in place that we assign that appointment to the agent where, you know, the agent's not going to look for business, calling business back, which is very different. I think a lot of companies give leads. What makes us different is we actually give appointments. Uh, okay, to that's the showstopper right there. Did everyone get that? When you partner up with Nathan Clark, he's giving you buyer and seller appointments. And, and these appointments are qualified and they're set up and they're confirmed. So all you have to do is go out and list the house or meet with the buyer. Uh, but yeah, most brokerages either give you nothing or they give you leads. And the leads are usually, you know, like Zillow leads, realtor leads, scraped leads, not real leads. Um, and, uh, you know, you have to call hundreds of them to try to find a good one. But getting the appointment is is up to the agent. Not so on Nathan's team. Uh, they're, the marketing uh, Nathan pays for, he's got uh, inside sales agents that they call and speak and qualify the buyers and sellers. And so uh, if I worked with you, um, I just set my day timer. I, I mean, I would uh, be able to book my time off. 
And I would, uh, whatever time I have open, I've got to be prepared because you're going to fill my uh, my day timer with appointments. Exactly. And, you know, I think a lot of agents may be reluctant to go work on a team because they think they're not going to have any freedom. But, you know, the agents on my team, because they control their schedule where, as you said, they open up their daytime or the days they're available. Um, they open that up. They're able to, to control their schedule where they can have really pursuits of, of outside interest. For example, uh, one of my top producers, Joe and my team, uh, he travels all over New England. He plays in a band uh, on the weekend, but he'll sell uh, somewhere between 70 to 80 houses this year uh, by himself and still be able to play uh, gigs all over New England and have outside interest like most agents on my team because he controls his schedule. But I think it's important too is what's crazy about the real estate industry. It's the only industry out there. They want you to do all the jobs yourself from calling the leads back, chasing the leads, booking appointments for yourself, showing people houses, you know, the 119 things it takes to sell a house. They expect right. the agent to join that company and do all those things by themselves. But what happens is when you work with me, what's different is you'd really just focus on two or three things. And because you just focus on those two or three things, you have a lot more free time to be able to focus out on, on outside interest besides just selling real estate. But you also make <laughs> 10 times more money than if you were trying to do 119 things yourself. Well, the two or three things are the money-making activities. I mean, let's be clear on this. Uh, what you remove are all the time-wasting, low-dollar, uh, you know, unproductive things that a real estate agent um, has to do. If you're a solo agent, you're the one maybe taking the pictures, getting the key cut, um, get you know, installing the lockbox, pounding the sign on the lawn, taking care of all the paperwork. Uh, so that is deliberately taken away from you. When you work on Nathan's team, well, it's literally, I can only think of three things they do. Number one, they, you go out on listing appointments. Number two, you go out and buyer appointments. And number three, you get coached on how to do the buyer and seller appointments. Uh, let's talk about, okay, so that's a huge thing right there. Imagine just having your day timer filled with listing appointments, not BS appointments, really good listing appointments. They've been vetted. They're qualified. They're motivated uh, because Nathan has so much business. He wants to make sure he's not running around his team on waste of time appointments. These are real qualified appointments. Um, the coaching though and training, the time that Nathan spends with his team is what makes this special uh, because uh, there's a system to all of this. Talk about um, the system and the training, the time and effort that you and your team put into uh, training all of the agents that you select to partner up with so they are superstars. Yeah, the training is, is really big. And that's what we do up front and forever with, with everything that we do because it's so important because, <laughs> listen, the market's changing. Things change so often. You know, you have this new thing out there, uh, artificial intelligence, uh, how quickly that's taking over things. It's just really being able to stay on top of all the things that are changing and what's coming down uh, the pike. So we do actually just left my uh, Tuesday training. We do our Tuesday training every morning on Tuesdays at 930, where the whole team comes together for about two hours, uh, sometimes longer, depends how much we have to go over. And we discuss all new trends that are coming out there, all the new listings that we've got as a team, all the new buyers that we've got on the team, able to match those buyers and sellers together. And then right now, as I'm speaking right now, our, our director of sales is doing sales training, uh, going over basically the two parts that you discussed earlier is, is your job is to meet with clients, help them find a house or to put their house in the market. And we go over our presentations to be able to hone our skills so we get better and better and better. You know, I'll go back to what I said in the beginning of this interview here. We're not trying to build the Navy. We're trying to build the Navy SEALs. So I don't wanna have 100 agents, 500 agents all selling two houses a year, like 99.99%. Yeah, which is unlike every other brokerage, they want to recruit any, they want to recruit anyone with a pulse. You're not right. looking for that. Okay, so let, let's get into that. How do you determine, uh, let's say I'm a, I'm, I'm a realtor in Rhode Island right now. Obviously, I've heard of you. I may hate you because you've been kicking my butt, right? Uh, and it's funny because, uh, you know, Nathan, you'll have people that uh, finally, uh, you know, uh, contact you and they're like, you know, I was told that you were the devil and <laughs> because he's got such a huge, mark. he spanked the realtors in Rhode Island so hard uh, that, you know, you're going to have professional jealousy. You're going to have that go on. But um, who would be a good fit for you and who would not be a good fit? Who would you say, I don't think this is, you're, you're going to be a good fit for my team? Uh, I'll, I'll start with the negative, right? We'll talk who's not a good fit because I'm okay. really easy to, to go there. Yeah. So 
who's not a good fit is ego. Uh, if it's more important that your name is on the sign, uh, it's just not a good fit. Um, you know, not that that doesn't work. You just need to go do your own thing. Uh, it, it's just a different currency for different people. I mean, I had that on my team. What, what, like if, if, if your currency is not money and time, then do not apply for this. This is uh, Nathan is not for you. Um, if you would rather make less money, but it's a big deal to you to have your name and your picture on the sign and on the advertising, but you want to work harder and struggle, this is not the right opportunity. Uh, if you want to make more money and only focus on the parts of the job that you're really good at, listing houses, working with buyers, making money and having more time off, this is perfect for you. So how do you establish uh, that? Or is that pretty revealing in the first few minutes of a phone call? If, if the agent's like, uh, well, will we'll, uh, my name be everywhere? My sign's on everything? Uh, how, do you, how, how can you tell? We're looking for people that are hungry and determined, people that just mm -hmm. want to be successful. The best people on our team, uh, we find that they're really good team players. Maybe they came from uh, a team atmosphere of uh, maybe they were in the military, they played you know, sports as a kid. Those people seem to do really good at team environments. But I, I think what we look for the most is the drive and the hunger, how hungry they are. Uh, because <clears throat> let's just face it, a lot of people get in real estate because they're lazy uh, and they just want to get into that, you know, sell a couple houses a year, um, you know, tell everybody they sell real estate. And when I say that, I would say there's about 80% of agents out there uh, are just lazy. I don't want to offend them, but it's the truth. I don't know how you sell two or three houses a year and what you do with the other 364 days during the year. But, uh, you know, we're, we're really looking for people that are saying, hey, listen, uh, I'm selling three to 10 houses per year. And uh, I want to sell more. I need to provide for my family. Uh, I have aspirations that I want in life and um, I'll do whatever we have to do to get there. Those people that have that kind of mindset that can think differently, uh, operate differently and be able to understand how a team system works and follow a process really make the most amount of money on the team because uh, they're able to adapt and really and really do that. But the first thing we have to get over is that they have to be willing to work. Like they're not saying, hey, I got two hours a week I can do real estate for because I have another job. Yeah. So they got to be all in. And I think that's what we look at the most is the hunger and how how determined they are to win. Um, you you inter How do you interview people that are interested? Talk about that process. So the process starts uh, on the phone call. Um, we'll talk to them, I'll talk to the people. Uh, we'll invite them to a backstage pass. So the first phone call we have for them is really kind of fleshing out, are they are they something that they wanna take this professionally, uh, this career professionally, where they wanna make you know a quarter million dollars a year, half a million dollars a year of net income, uh, like agents in my team do, uh, they have to really be determined to say, hey, listen, uh, I don't have all these restrictions in my life. Uh, so, you know, we get that, we understand that. There's some people that just wanna work two or three days a week, we do require that all the agents on our team are full-time. They don't work another job. This is what they do. This is their only source of income. Uh, if they match the, that criteria, we bring them into a backstage pass, we call it. And basically, we bring them to the office. Uh, we show them how the process works from lead generation to our uh, inside sales department, calling the leads back, booking appointments for them, how the whole process works. And then they meet agents on my team that make a quarter million dollars a year plus and how they're netting that money. And uh, I know it sounds too good. So we have to actually have those people meet those agents. Right. Uh, doing well, that. showing the process must really help because for most agents, they would look at what you've got going on the back end of this and go, well, I could never do that myself or that would be very difficult. And then, um, yeah, meeting the other agents that are making a quarter million dollars plus a year. It's like, well, um, you know, here's one here. Here's another one here. Uh, you've got social proof. You've got people that are hitting those kind of numbers and still having a great life. You're real. Are you looking for draft picks? Is that what we're doing here? We're looking for um, agents that maybe uh, aren't superstars, but have the potential to be. We're trying to find the people. Uh, I think you just nailed it right there. We're, we're looking for the people before they're stars uh, mm -hmm. that have the opportunity to do that. They're just not giving the opportunities, uh, meaning they have it in them and our job is to bring it out and uh, and do that. Listen, they come to us and they're like, listen, I can sell. I just need more at-bats. And we're like, okay, you're perfect because we'll give you so many at-bats. So you're going to tell me to stop. Literally, uh, I've had uh, agents of the team with tears in their eyes tell me, please stop giving me so many appointments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, no, I, get, I get it. <laughs> uh, all right. So so pretty much you, you don't want the agent that's too lazy to walk to bat 
right? Because you're giving them at bats. But um, you know, there are agents out there that the the the, le- the appointments are there, the business is there. Uh, but uh, do you have the work ethic, the ambition, and drive to seize this opportunity? Um, Nathan's not looking to recruit people that think, oh, this would be an easy gig. You know, this would be uh, mm-hmm. this looks easy here. Uh, it is easy, but we don't want um, we don't want agents that uh, because you know we've had this before, Nathan, right? You get an agent that's got potential, but they don't have drive. I had a guy work for me that he could knock out 10 to 15 transactions a month. And he would do that January, February, March, and April. The weather would get nice. And then he would go off to his cottage. He'd made some money. He was good. And then all summer, he would spend his money. He would come back in the fall and he'd be hungry. Uh, He was making what he needed, right, versus what he potentially could. And, um, you know, the way Nathan and I roll is, no, no, we want agents that are going to live up to their full potential. So that's not everybody. Um, the ego thing. I mean, I just stopped. Uh, I just stopped trying to recruit agents. Said um, if they were already, you know, doing extremely well, I knew they probably had a pretty big ego. Uh, even agents that aren't doing well, some of them have a pretty big ego. So that's an eliminator right away. So you got to have ambition. Um, you've got to remember why you got into real estate. You got into real estate for freedom. That means you need money and time. Some of you watching this are pretty successful, but you've given your whole life up to it. Let's be honest. How many of you watching this right now, you know, you're knocking out 40, 50, 60 transactions, uh, but you don't see your family, you have no hobbies, you have no time for anything. That is what we call the success trap. Now, Nathan and I know very well the success trap because we live that. You know, Nathan and I, we didn't have a team when we started. Uh, We were the team. We did it all, you know, seven days a week. That's how um, you know, most agents start is if you've got something going on, you figure it out and you become successful as a solo agent, but then you quickly realize, okay, um, I need a team or I need to work for a team. That's pretty much where we are here in 2023. If you want to be successful, make me successful means freedom. Freedom means I got money and time. You've either got to build your own team. So Nathan gives you a backstage pass. He's been working with me now for almost 20 years. You could go, um, you know, look at what Nathan has going on. He'll show you how it all works. Mm -hmm. You will be blown away. Now, some of you might say, well, I'd like to do what Nathan's doing. But most of you will not do that because he's put the 20 years and the millions of dollars uh, in, in, in work and the work and the hours into this system. Okay, so I just want to be clear. You're not going to build what Nathan has overnight. That's why he's not afraid to show it to you. It's like, look what we got going. It's uh, what happens is uh, agents who see what you've got going on, all of a sudden have this massive appreciation. And then to talk to, uh, to be able to talk to agents on Nathan's team that are making a quarter million, $300,000 a year. Now remember, this is net in their pocket. So Here's what would happen when I would try to recruit agents. So I've, I've shared this story with you before. There was a guy at Remax. I finally recruited this guy. I knew the guy because I'd sold his house. And I saw he got into real estate and uh, I called him and he was doing okay. He was making about a hundred grand a year. Uh, but when I asked him what he was netting, he's like, almost like, well, what do you mean by netting? Well, you know, what are you spending to make the hundred grand? Like he'd never thought of that. He said, well, I, I mean, what after I pay Remax and after I pay my advertising, I've got a part-time assistant. I probably spend forty thousand dollars, he said, to make the hundred grand. I said, "Well, then you're making sixty grand. Let's agree. If you join my team, I said, I promise you, you would make four times that. Okay, you'll make a quarter million dollars or more." And then I started talking about some of the other agents. I said, "You know Lindy, right? Yeah, I know Lindy. Do you think you're as good a sales agent as her? Oh, I'm a better. Well, she made two hundred and fifty thousand dollars net in her pocket last year." So once you get one top producing agent um, who's doing really well within your system, as you know, Nathan, it's easy to showcase that one agent and get the next one and get the next one. And all of a sudden you got three and you got four and you got five. Um, So this agent, number one problem was was ego. You know, Craig, if I come and work with you, uh, they used to call in our town. They used to the other agents would make fun of them because I was the first guy to have a team that say, oh, you know, you couldn't make it on your own. You're going to go over and join up with Craig. You're going to be a Craigette. And so uh, that was damaging to this guy's ego. I don't want to be called a Craigette. I said, look, let's remember why you're in real estate. I said, you just split up with your wife. You had no time for your family. 
you say you make a hundred grand, you really make 60 grand because you spend 40 making the hundred. I'm promising you, because I know you, I know you're a good agent, uh, that you're going to make a quarter million dollars or more net in your pocket. Let's have a meeting. So um, I took him out in a bunch of appointments. I uh, showed him, um, you know, I got all three appointments, by the way. I got all three listings at the full commission, transaction fee, uh, and then uh, showed him. I had three or four listings earlier in the day. I said, that's all you need to do. He's like, I noticed that you, when you show up, you pretty much, you've got this presentation. You say the same thing in the same order and over and over. I said, yes, that's what I'm going to coach you up to do. Uh, but you won't do any, you won't do any administrative stuff. You won't call leads. You won't prospect. You won't spend money on leads. You won't hammer in signs. You won't get keys cut. You won't make feature sheets. You won't pull stuff from the MLS. All that will be done. You will be a listing machine. You'll go from appointment to appointment to appointment. Okay, I'm going to come and join up. Uh, the first year, guy made over a quarter million dollars with me. Okay, so um, this is what we do here. We uh, build um, an opportunity for the right agents to make way more money. Let's, let's talk net in our pocket here. Guys, let's not BS ourselves with gross income. And for a lot of you, your gross income is gross anyway, right? So we're talking net income. Now, if I worked with Nathan, um, what I would like about this is, first of all, I've got a mentor. Okay, I've got somebody that's played the game. I know a lot of you are watching this right now. Oh, my brokerage provides training. Yeah, training by the broker. Why do you think the broker is the broker? Because the bro most of these brokers are failed real estate agents. Has your broker owner, whoever is training you, are they making millions of dollars a year currently selling real estate? And the answer is no. So you're getting trained by somebody that's never been successful at this is what's happening. And how does someone that's never made millions of dollars, how do they show you how to do it? Answer is they can't. So you've got coaching and you've got uh, all the marketing done for you. And all you have to do is show up on the appointment. And Nathan gives you the listing appointment and he shadows you. You do it, you do it, you shadow Nathan. We get this thing drilled down because we don't want you coming back with a story. We want you coming back with a listing agreement, right? So you've got someone here that cares enough about your business because Nathan has skin in the game that he actually has the time and cares more about your success than wherever else you're going to work in Rhode Island. That's what's going on here. Now, what would hold you back from this? Two things. Number one, maybe you don't, you didn't even know about this opportunity, right? So that's what held you back is like you were unaware that there's this new real estate opportunity in Rhode Island that you didn't even know it existed, right? Or number two, you kind of knew about it, but you didn't believe it. Right, you're letting skepticism get in the way uh, because the guy's a top agent, right? So there's a lot of other agents that um, have been hurt by Nathan's success, right? He, but isn't this what you want? Don't you want to join the winning team, right? Don't you want to at least explore the opportunity? So what we're talking about here is a conversation. So this guy that I finally, that I'd sold his house and he got into real estate and he thought he was making a hundred grand a year, but he's really netting 60 grand. I set up an appointment with him. He calls me the next day, Nathan. He's like, yeah, I'm going to cancel it. I, I thought about it. Um, you know, uh, I want, I don't want to lose my freedom. He said, I said, well, it's, it's the opposite. You're not losing your freedom. Uh, you're going to have more freedom here and you're going to have more money here. Uh, finally got him to meet with me. Uh, introduced them team, showed them the backstage pass, just like uh, you do with your agents, got him to speak to some of our agents. He was with me for 17 years. Yeah. And it all started with a conversation. You know, and the story is so much that you said right there, but you know, the story we hear over and over again, after we meet with the agent, we show them the backstage pass is, uh, first of all, 90% of people are like, yes, I want to join after they see how we operate. Uh, and once they join, most common thing that we hear is why doesn't every brokerage operate this way? Uh, and I've been hearing that for years and years and years. And I think it just comes down to is, is the amount of time and effort and work that it takes to put this together. Uh, it's a lot easier to set up a brokerage where, uh, you know, you just go out and you find the business as the agent, you go do everything. You just pay me a nickel or something like that. And every, every sale that you get, and I'll sit back and do nothing for you. Uh, and I hear that complaint a lot of times when I talk to the agents is my brokerage doesn't do anything for me. Well, because your brokerage doesn't have any skin in the game. You know, as you said before, is 
we're building this all out. We're giving you these, uh, these sellers and buyers that cost thousands and thousands of dollars to produce, not pennies like it's Facebook advertising or something like that. Thousands of dollars to produce these clients. We're giving you these clients because that's how the business works. And we all have skin in the game to help you do your best. Uh, and I think that's really important. We're not a competing brokerage. We're not, the broker is not competing with you. I think when you go to most agent, most brokerages and agencies out there, you're competing with the broker. So if business is coming in, let's say that calls the office and says, hey, uh, we need to sell our house tomorrow. Who do you think is taking that appointment? Uh, I don't take those appointments. I give those to my agents. In fact, I haven't sold a house since 2014. Uh, the issue is, is that we're giving all that business. You're not competing with me as the owner of the team or the brokerage. Uh, my job is to support you and help you do the best job you can in your position, as along with the other people on my team. We all have the same mission. We all eat out of the same trough from selling houses. We're not recruiting agents where we just want 10,000 agents to work here before we can make a profit. We only want the best agents that can do the best service for our clients. And, and that really has to be focused on training and, and doing the best job we can for them. Yeah, this is for uh, an agent that wants to be elite. You might not be elite, but if you know you've got what it takes, you need to have a conversation with Nathan. What would be the best way for agents to, uh, to, to, to do that, to reach out to you, to have a conversation, to learn more about this? Uh, I'll give you my cell phone number. I got it right here. Uh, you can call me right in my cell, 401-529-6160. It's 529-6160. Uh, I've talked to anybody about it and uh, be able to help you out, uh, spend some time uh, with your business. And I, I think it's really important to understand you need to look at your business as a business. As you were talking about before, I have the same conversation with a lot of these agents. Like, you know, they love to brag about the millions of dollars in volume of real estate they've sold. But at the end of the day, it just matters how much you put in your pocket. You know, if I was to do this all over again, I say this a lot of times and I joke, I, and, but I'm serious about it. <clears throat> if it like failed tomorrow and I had to shut the business down, I would join another team that operates like I operate because it is a lot of work to build all these things in years and, and finding what works and what doesn't to be able to go to a company and net 250, 350 or thousand dollars in your pocket. Do you know how many companies you could do that at? Not many, you know, there's not many executives that the doctors don't make that kind of money. Um, you know, I, I know that it's tempting the idea that I'm going to keep on building my own empire here by just working, 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 the issue is, is you know, it's 87% failure rate outside these doors. The agents that come here make more money than they ever made before. I have countless uh, testimonials from agents saying the same exact thing. And they do jump ship. They'll jump ship and, and try it out. Uh, there's never been an agent that's left me that's made more money. Uh, I've had agents that are selling 50, 60 houses a year. They leave me and sell two or three. Um, you know, we don't want to see makes that. So, it makes no sense, but e that would be ego, right? It's like, oh, I'm, I'm going to go out. I've learned I'm not enough, enough through Nathan. I'm going to go do it myself. And the same thing happened with me. I never had an agent in 25 years uh, that left my team and netted more money off the team. So you, you wonder what drives that decision other than ego. Why, why would someone um, want to work more and net way, way less uh, when all the systems are set up? But I didn't have many agents leave me. The, the flip side of that is I had uh, agents that stayed with me for 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. Um, and that's what we're looking for. We're looking for agents that want to have a career at Nathan's office. Okay. Not agents that bounce from brokerage to brokerage. If you're making a lot of money, if you're making $250,000, $300,000 a year, net, net in your pocket, and everything else is done for you, the advertising and marketing, um, Nathan's an expert at it, and he pays for all of it. Okay, you're not calling leads, you're not door knocking, you're not cold calling, you're not calling 100 Zillow leads to get one on the phone that has been done. Okay, for you. So the appointment is set. It's a good appointment. It's a listing appointment. This thing has been vetted. Now, your job is to go out and get the listing and get the listing at the right price and get the listing at the right commission rate. Okay, now there's a system for this. Okay, we don't want you to use your system. We want you to use Nathan's system. Okay. This is why the guy sells 600 homes a year. Um, he's going to spend hours and hours and hours coaching you on, here's how we're going to approach this seller. Here's how we're going to determine their personality type. Here's where we're going to determine what they really want. Um, here's uh, what you're going to say first, the system to this, how we're, going to, how we're going to handle the objections. This is how we're not only going to get the listing, but we're going to get it at the right price 
for the right commission rate. Okay, then you hand that listing off. Okay, a whole bunch of things are going to happen now. So you went out on the appointment, you got the listing, you did your job. Uh, that listing is going to be broker loaded. The sign's going to go up. The keys are cut. The, the key box will be installed. All these things that need to happen that you're doing right now by yourself are done for you. What are you doing? You're not doing any of that stuff. You're out at the next listing appointment and the next listing appointment. Honestly, if that's all you had to do all day long is go from listing appointment to a listing appointment to listing appointment, and you didn't have to be bothered with all the minutia. You didn't have to mess around with all the stuff that you spend so much time on, but that doesn't really make you money. I know it needs to be done, but it doesn't need to be done by you. You are going to be the rainmaker because now you're in a position to just be able to do this and you'll make a lot of money. That interests Nathan. The more money you make, the more money Nathan makes, the more money everyone on the team makes. So uh, I'm going to encourage you guys to pick up the phone and uh, get some further. It's a conversation. He's a nice guy. Okay. Uh, have a conversation with him. Maybe you'll think, you know what, this is not right for me. But how do you evaluate an opportunity without just having a conversation about it? Okay. Uh, I think you'll find when you speak to Nathan and you speak to the agents on his team, uh, they've got something really big going on here that's very, very unique. You're not going to find it anywhere else. Um, give us your contact information, your cell phone number one more time. Sure. Nathan. Yep. My private cell goes right to me, 401-529-6160. Uh, okay. Now, if you're watching this and you don't live in Rhode Island, you're like, well, I can't join this team. I don't live in Rhode Island. I don't leave. What, what uh, market area do you serve? <clears throat> Rhode Island, Massachusetts, and, and Connecticut. So we do Southern Massachusetts, Eastern Connecticut. Um, so if you're in those areas, uh, but you know, we have other teams that work a lot like us that are all over the country too. So we don't have to help you out, find some uh, another team that you work well on also. Right. So uh, Nathan has a Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty Brokerage, basically Craig Proctor Brokerage uh, with a license to use my intellectual property for Nathan and all his agents. And we have over a hundred locations all over the United States and Canada. Okay, so if you're in a different area, uh, we'll set you up with a Nathan Clark in, in your area. So if you'd like to book a call with me, you can go to my Acuity Day Timer. Just go to proctorcall.com. So my name, proctorcall.com, no space, proctorcall.com. You'll go to my Acuity Day Timer, pick a day and a time that works best for you. We'll have a conversation about um, you and your business. Maybe you want to be the next Nathan Clark. Maybe you want to, uh, maybe you have a team right now and you want to have a bigger and better team and you want to plug in the Craig Proctor system. Maybe you'd like to have a Craig Proctor brokerage at some point. Or maybe, like what Nathan said, if he was doing it all over again, um, he would just go work at someone else's brokerage. In 2015, I wrote a book called The Death of the Traditional Real Estate Agent and the Rise of the Super Profitable Real Estate Team. And the premise of the book is here in 2023 and moving forward, to be successful in real estate, you're going to have to make a choice. And the choice is going to be uh, you're, you're, you're going to uh, join someone else's team or you're going to create your own super profitable team. Okay, you're going to join someone's already super profitable team, like the opportunity presented to you today. You can join up with Nathan or one of our over 100 Your Home Sold Guaranteed Broker. Uh, all over the United States and Canada. Uh, but it all starts with a conversation. Either call Nathan or book a time with me. We'll do a Zoom meeting. I'll ask you a bunch of questions. You can ask me a bunch of questions. If you don't like it at any time, you can hang up on Nathan and I. It's, it's uh, just a conversation. Um, Zero dollars. We're not charging anything to talk to us. We'll, get, we'll give you the information on this, and then you can decide whether you think this is right for you. So, um, Nathan, uh, we're going to put all the contact information below. I'll put Nathan's contact information, my contact information uh, below this video. Uh, anything you want to share uh, as final remarks before we wrap it up? Yeah, I think we kind of talked about this before, but I think I think the best agents that do best on on the team here really don't have a, a mindset of limited beliefs. Is you know, if if you could spend some time with someone that's made millions of dollars in real estate. You know, like I'm able to sit down with you, Craig, and talk and just listen to you talk for a little bit. And uh, I learned a ton of stuff, just stuff that falls out of your head as we're talking. You know, so to get an opportunity to be able to give you or, or myself a call 
and spend 15 minutes for free just to pick up brain, um, I would do that even if I wasn't interested in joining just for the sake of what can I learn. Uh, but those type of people that really want to learn and realize just there might be a better way, a different way of doing things. Uh, are really agents to do really well in the team because they can think differently and operate differently than really how they've just been programmed to work. You know, like when you and I got to real estate, uh, me especially, you know, it was just kind of just do what everybody else is doing in the office. Mm -hmm. uh, and I see the crazy things that they make agents do now from cold calling to sending letters out to uh, begging for business and things like that. Um, and that's just because their brokerage or their office has no clue how to generate business, right? Uh, where if you could really look outside of, the, of real estate and see how most businesses operate, and you came and looked at our businesses and, and my team, you would see that our businesses run just like a Fortune 500 company operates. It's the same processes that's duplicated. You've got, yeah, you've got a lead generation department. Right. You've got a conversion appointment a department. We got a presentation, a follow-up. Um, it's a real company. Now, most brokerages today, uh, the the broker is basically the landlord, right? Yeah. It's like it's it's the brokerage is all about how do we get a hundred or two hundred agents working at our office, and we get a small piece from all of these failing agents. We're not looking at that kind of model at all here, folks. Um, this is not for all of you, okay? Again, this is not for all of you, but I think you've got a feel from watching us so far whether this might be right for you. We're not asking for your commitment in any way. Just have a conversation, see if you've got the right stuff uh, to make a quarter million dollars net net in your pocket. Set your own schedule. You'll never spend any money on marketing or advertising. You're not ever going to run around getting keys cut, paperwork, banging in signs, running around doing it. That's all off your plate. Nathan's the marketing expert. Everybody knows him on radio, on television, online. Everyone knows who this guy is. Um, you can piggyback on this. You don't have to create the wheel. He spent 20 years and millions of dollars working with me to create this opportunity. Now, of course, Nathan benefits, but you don't care if Nathan benefits, if you're benefiting in a big way, right? And everyone on the team is going to benefit. And that's the way it has to work. Because if you partner up with Nathan and you're not making a lot of money, you you cannot stay on this team. Right. Okay. So, um, you know, it's it's a two way street like you want to make a lot of money, but Nathan expects you to make a lot of money inside this team uh, to uh, recoup uh, the, the marketing and the time that he spends with you. So um, he is not looking just to recruit agents. Please understand there'll be a vetting process here. And if uh, Nathan says, OK, let's do this. It's because he's got the experience. He's put the time. He's basically jumped you through the hoops to make sure that you actually are going to be super successful with this. Yeah, I mean, great, uh, great points are out there. You know, once again, all I can say is, you know, be able to pick uh, Craig's brain and sit down and have a conversation with him. Uh, you just learn so much from those things. I, I don't think you can go wrong. Uh, Craig, you've, I've been doing it now 20 years. You've been doing it for how long? Uh, almost 30. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's kind of longer than 30. <laughs> but, you know, to be able to, pick our brains, be able to get the, the information out there. It's, it's a win in itself. But uh, yeah, we get excited uh, bringing new people out. I get excited when I see a new talent uh, join uh, and be able to hear the stories from, hey, you know, I was having a hard time making rent to I'm buying my first house. Uh, you know, we kind of see the progression of the years of, of when they start out here, of the things they're able to do and accumulate and just making their lives better uh, in real estate. It is possible. Uh, but it's a different model. You know, our model, as you said, Craig, is not uh, just building thousands, thousands of agents. I think the average brokerage has hit about 60 agents before they're profitable, uh, where they're just a warehouse of agents working there. Um, you know, we're doing it totally opposite of we're focused on the customer and focused on the agent actually selling real estate. Uh, and that's what we do here. We're not agent acquisition. We're not a warehouse of agents. We're in the business of selling real estate. And that's what we focus on. You're in the business of creating qualified buyer and seller appointments for agents. Everything else is done for you. Most other brokerages are uh, taking advantage of the fact that in the United States and Canada, if you're a real estate agent, you have to have your license held at a brokerage. That's, that's a requirement. In the United States and Canada, if you're a real estate agent, you have to have your license held at a brokerage. So most brokerages fulfill that. 
I had a friend of mine that started a brokerage in Arizona, and he said, um, uh, Craig, uh, I really, when I started my brokerage, I really didn't do anything for the agents at all. And he, he said, I was always blown away that I was able to recruit with really not doing anything other than the minimum of holding their license. But he said that was okay because all the other brokerages, real estate brokerages in my city, they didn't do anything for the other for the agents uh, either. And he said, anything I did do extra for the agents kind of blew the agents away because it was so much um, above and beyond what the other brokerages were providing, which is next to nothing other than they hold your license. Okay, that is the minimum. And that's what's going on. That's why a lot of agents, um, their perception is, well, the real estate broker doesn't do anything anyway. So the only question is, what's the split? Right. If all these brokerages are not really going to do anything, what's the split? I can get a 90-10 here. I can get this here. Um, guys, this is not what we're talking. You can hang your license anywhere. How's that going for you? You hang your license and you got to figure this all out on your own. Um, or you have a guaranteed $200,000, $250,000 income. Now, you do have a guarantee that we haven't talked about for agents. Uh, talk about um, your guarantee that you give agents that jump through the hoops who you think are qualified and you say, okay, I'm going to open a position for you. Sure. So uh, I'm going to piggyback on what you said also. So our guarantee is you will make $100,000 of net income, net income, $100,000 or more your first year, or we'll pay you the difference in cash. So I give that to all my agents as part of our agreement, because we know you can make that money and you will make that money. And we put that in writing. Uh, but I want to piggyback what you said is you have these brokerages competing right now of, you know, they'll give you 100 percent of the commission, 95, 110 percent of your commission, whatever they're going to come up with next. Let me ask you, what's 100 percent of zero? Right. It's zero. Right. And that's what agents that the, the rookie agents out there or rookie mistakes I see agents make is they get attracted by brokerages about how less they have to pay the brokerage to sell real estate for them. And, and then you got to also think, though. If the brokerage is making one, two percent on every sale, how much can they do for you to help you sell real estate? So you got to ask that question and you got to ask yourself, what's 100 percent of zero? Right. Because I see that a lot of times in the company joint, the agents join a company and they're like, I'm only selling two or three houses a year. And my broker doesn't do anything for me. Well, no kidding. The broker doesn't make any money because he's paying them nothing. You know, and, and certainly they can't return that. They're going to make some kind of profit. They're not doing it as a, a, a nonprofit organization. So. We really have to really be smart when you look at it, be a smart business person and saying, the number one thing you want to look at is your net income, what you're going to make. And the other thing is too, is how much time you're going to put into doing that. The average agent in my team works 40, 50 hours a week and makes well over $100,000 of net income. Um, some work less than that. Um, Joe uh, on my team, he'll make over a quarter million dollars this year. Uh, a couple agents make over uh, $250,000, $300,000 in mm -hmm. net income. And they'll do that working maybe 50, 60 hours a week because they decide to. What's really important to understand as the agents on our team is I think what stops a lot of people is like, yeah, but I got to work 90 hours, 100 hours a week. No, you control the spigot, right? As much as you want, as much business as you want to flow your way, you just open the spigot or close it. If you have enough, you block off your schedule and you say, I got enough clients right now. I don't need any more. And they close the spigot. And that's when I say to myself, that's fine. I want you to live a quality life. I don't want you to be working to yourself to the bone, but I need to go find other agents to take this overflow of business. And that's why me and you are having this conversation, Craig, is because we need agents that passionately want to help other people and really focus on finding people houses, writing contracts, and celebrating the wins. And if that sounds like something that you want to do, you want to be part of, and be part of a team that's growing, doing more and more every year, going somewhere, and focused on where the industry is going and really being able to set the standards of industry and steer the industry the way that the industry needs to go. This is the team for you. This is the team that you want to be part of. I hope you guys enjoyed our interview today. Um, Nathan Clark, uh, one of my longest, most loyal uh, Craig Proctor members. He's been chasing this down for 20 years. He comes to all my conferences. He's a uh, um, Nathan, uh, you're one of the best copiers uh, in the Craig Proctor uh, system, and I'm so proud of your success, and it's uh, well-deserved. Um, you're smart. Uh, you were looking for an opportunity, and you found it, and now you're providing other agents opportunities. I hope you see the opportunity. If you're watching this today, I hope you understand 
uh, the opportunity that's in front of you right now to make a quarter million dollars net in your pocket, work 40 or 50 hours a week in real estate. You're not going to find a better opportunity than that unless you want to do what Nathan did, which is invest millions of dollars in marketing and coaching and uh, years and years of his time. Um, like other Craig Proctor students, we have um, Craig Proctor brokerages, your home sold, guaranteed realty uh, locations all over the United States and Canada. We have other Nathan Clarks um, in your location. But if you're in Rhode Island, okay, you're in Massachusetts, you, you're in, um, and you know, by the way, if you're in Nathan's area, because you can't avoid this guy. You hear him on the radio, on television, he's in your mailbox. Um, what is this all about? That's what you're going to do. You're going to have a conversation with Nathan, or you're going to have a conversation with me. We'll have the information below, okay? Um, look forward to seeing you guys on the other side. I want to thank Nathan Clark for spending uh, the time here uh, to do this with me, and I want to thank all of you for watching this. Um, this is real estate coach uh, Craig Proctor, and we hope to talk to you guys all soon. Thank you again for watching. Take care. Hi, this is Craig Proctor. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed that video. And listen, I've got a lot more information for you to help you grow your real estate business. You see, several times a week, I record new videos and I load them onto this YouTube channel. What I'd like you to do if you'd like to access them are two important things, and both are totally free. Number one is I'd like you to subscribe to this channel. You're gonna see a little subscribe button for you to click on. And if you don't already have an account with YouTube, it's free for you to set it up. It's really easy, it's free, but you've got to subscribe to this channel. And the most important thing is to ring the little bell right next to the subscribe button. And that's gonna let you know every time I load new money-making videos to help you grow your real estate business. So make sure you subscribe right now, you ring the little bell, and we'll see you on the next video.